Well, my name is Ryan Munnis. I'm uh, the product support manager over at Cakewalk. Uh, this is my first NAMM show, so I've been having a good time showing everyone what's new with Cakewalk and Sonar and our, our X2A update that's already available to everyone. Uh, this came out in December. It was mainly an update for Windows 8 support, but we were able to utilize a lot of the multi-touch gestures that are part of Windows 8 now. So I'm just kind of going to go through some of the basic multi-touch gestures and what we actually did with a touchscreen display. Uh, so right here, just so you guys know, I have a planar touchscreen display. This will actually register up to 20 different uh, touch points. Um, so with that, that gives us a lot of options for what are we going to do in Sonar. Uh, so Sonar X2A utilizes the Skylight interface. A lot of this is modular, so you can see up here my control bar, for example, can be dragged and dropped anywhere in my interface if I wanted to move it around. Uh, the same thing could be said for uh, my browser that I have over here. If I wanted to move this to a different part of my interface, I can do that with my finger. I can still do it with the keys as well, but that's it's the interface itself lends itself very well to just easily moving things from one part of the interface to another. Um, you'll see resizing views is relatively easy with your finger if you wanted to get things out of the way, uh, or if you just wanted to maximize something, that can all be done with, with my fingers now. Uh, some specific views that really take advantage of Windows 8 and multi-touch, uh, the matrix view. If you're not familiar with the matrix view, it's pretty much a, a non-linear arrangement of loop content uh, it can be MIDI data or audio data. You can trigger internal virtual instruments or external hardware synths. And so what we have here is just a very, very basic uh, groove we got going with different loops. And because it's multi-touch, I could trigger one sample at a time. Let me just turn up our volume here a little bit. Or if I wanted, I could trigger two samples, which is really, really cool if you're collaborating with someone. Um, I'm going to hide a couple of views here. Let's just kind of give ourselves a big look at the matrix view. Uh, if you and me were collaborating because it is multi-touch, we could easily, maybe you're on this side, I'm on this side, and uh, we can scroll around if we wanted. Maybe we have more samples here. So the matrix view itself does benefit a lot from these multi-touch gestures. Uh, you can trigger a whole column if you'd like. Um, so this is kind of obvious, you know, you don't have to memorize what you know, key you've mapped this to anymore on external hardware. You can still do that, but with the multi-touch screen, now you can do it right with your fingers. Uh, so there was one particular view that benefited really, really well with touch control. Another one is our media browser here. So our media browser is pretty much all of our content installed, and I can go through and preview loops from here as well. But we've also implemented drag and drop. So if I wanted to bring this sample into my matrix view, I could do that. Uh, I can also do the same thing in my track view. And this is probably the last one I'm going to show you guys for right now, but the track view, I can drag and drop things to it, and I can pinch to zoom. So if I want to really get in on a transient, now I can do that just with basic, basic gestures. Uh, if I want to move my transport to this moment in time, I can do that. So this is Sonar X2A uh, on a Windows 8 platform. If you have any more questions about this, please contact Sweetwater and talk to your Sweetwater sales engineer. They'll help you out with that.